The next study that I critically appraised was by Luprinzi et al. It was a randomized placebo-controlled double-blinded study, and the purpose was to investigate whether calcium-magnesium decreases oxaliplatin-related neurotoxicity. 353 par participants with colon cancer undergoing adjuvant therapy with Fulfox were randomly assigned to IV calcium-magnesium before and after oxaliplatin, a placebo before and after, or calcium, magnesium before, and placebo after. The setting and sample included 353 patients with colon cancer undergoing adjuvant therapy with full Fox chemotherapy. The independent variable was calcium magnesium infusion and the dependent variable was neurotoxicity. The measurement was sensory scale of the European Organization for Research and Treatment of Cancer and Quality of Life Questionnaire Chemotherapy-Induced Peripheral Neuropathy 20 tool. The data analysis was that the summary measure of area under the curve was used to compare the area under the curve of the chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy 20 sensory scale Two Wilcoxon rank sum tests were used at the 2.5 significance level. Statistical analyses were conducted by the Alliance Statistics and Data Center, which ensured data quality. The findings of this study were that it does not support using calcium-magnesium infusions to protect against oxaliplatin-induced neurotoxicity. The tool that I used to critically appraise it was the JBI checklist. The strengths were that it was a randomized placebo-controlled double-blinded study eliminating potential bias and it had a large sample size of 353 patients. There were no limitations for the study and it was very low risk and feasible in practice. The level of evidence was one and it was high quality, so I decided to include the study.